Hello guys, Adik Basi Okupe here again from the Side Business Network and today we are going to be talking about the missing link in your business. So um, maybe you are trying to hit a particular income target or maybe you are stuck at a particular income range okay so you've not been able to get get past that mark and how can you move from where you are to where you want to be so that's what we are talking about on today's video right so the missing link um in your business and this is this is not something that is far-fetched it's, it's not something that is um, so high up there that you know that you don't know already okay we're talking about sales sales is the missing link okay um while you know you have done all the brand while you're doing all the branding focusing on creating a perfect product um you know putting all the features in and all that if you do not focus on sales you one your business will not stay around long enough for you to actually make the money and two you will not be fulfilled because you actually need cash flow you need cash flow for your business to you know stay in the game long enough for you to achieve your goals so sales is the big word and for a lot of entrepreneurs uh they have been avoiding a lot of entrepreneurs actually avoid talking about sales or even getting involved you know they, they think it's not sexy um, they think it, it looks desperate you know the idea that a lot of us have about sales is the marketers you see on the road or <laughs> or that come into your office with flyers and are begging you literally begging you to buy their products or their services and uh, while those guys are actually sales people but i'll tell you that that is not the way you know to make money in sales that is not the way to do it there are better ways of doing it there are better there are more professional ways of selling right uh, but selling cuts across a lot of more areas a lot more areas than just begging people to buy a product okay um and, and that's what we're going to be talking about today but what are the things you actually need to consider before you get to the point where you actually need to start selling that's that's the aim of this video number one i'm going to give you three tips here uh, number one is you need to get attention you need to have the attention of the people you want to sell to right get their attention and there are a lot of ways you can do that so you know marketing uh paying sponsored ads posts um there are ways you can get attention if you if you uh, put on your radio and you're going to work you know you're hearing jingles all the time those guys are getting attention um go on instagram i mean there are a lot of ways you can get attention you can do that with money okay you can do that with your time you can do that with effort um, a lot of people have been held back because they think that they need to have money to do everything now while money can help you do things faster and maybe easier it's not the only way so if you're at the point in your business where you're just starting out and you don't have money to you know push for promotions you can still get attention it's just that you need to substitute that money for effort so um, your capital is going to be sweat basically i just posted a tweet about this yesterday literally saying if you do not have money your capital is sweat so it's not that you don't have capital your capital is sweat but number one is you need to get attention and then you need to build an audience around that attention so take advantage of social media that that's like the free that like free media okay but it's not free right you either pay somebody to do it or if you cannot afford to pay somebody you do it yourself which is what i do a lot of times okay um so that's number one and uh, i'll just give you a tip here the way you get attention is by giving people what they want give them what they want if it's entertainment if it's inspiration if it's content education you know give people what they want and then they will they will vote for you with their attention okay that's how it is if you see anybody getting attention in any sphere today it's because they are giving people what they want right so figure out what they want and give it to them so get attention get in the face of people let people be watching you i'm doing this video because i need your attention right i'm giving you what you want and then you're giving me your attention and then i can convert that attention to you know to business okay so that's number one 
Number two is find out their problem. So once you've gained attention, right, you have people looking at you, people spending their time with you, either online or physically, uh, maybe at a conference, whichever way you choose to do that, once you have people's attention, you need to start finding out what their problems are. Because people have problems, okay? People have problems. They have needs, they have issues. They have issues financially and they have issues otherwise. But people have needs that they need to get solved. They need to get met. So find out what their problems are. That's number two. Uh, a couple of ways you can do that. You can just simply ask them. I do this a lot. If you're in my community, I might, you might have gotten a message from me either you know, on the, on the group or via email, or sometimes I just even call you up or I send you a direct message if I'm trying to do some research, okay? Find out what their problems are. Do surveys, ask them, you know, what do you guys want? One of the things I've been using that has, that has paid off um, quite a great deal is asking people, what is, your busy, what is the biggest challenge you're facing in your business right now? It's a simple question, but it gives you enough data for you to you know, start understanding what your customer is, where they are, and how you can help them. So you need to find out what their problem is. That's the second thing. And once you have done that, funny enough, if, if you have people's attention, they're going to be more open with you. So they're, they're going to tell you their needs, they're going to tell you their challenges, and they probably they will even tell you how they want you to help them, which is the third tip here. So. Uh, number one is get attention you know, by building an audience and providing value, right? Providing value. It's so easy to do this on social media. You just need to be committed to it. Number two is um, figure out their problem. You either figure it out yourself by interacting with them or you just ask them directly what your problem is, okay? And I can ask you now, what is your problem? Drop it in the comment below, okay? Um, ask them for their problems get that information and then you go out and create a, a product that solves that problem create a product that solves that problem okay so and this is all introduction to sales introduction to sales right what happens is if you follow this process at the end of the day selling becomes much easier because number one you've built rapport with your audience number two they've told you exactly what they want and you've provided a product or a solution that help, that solves that need right so when you bring out that product to the marketplace i mean it's not um so hard convincing people to buy you don't need to convince you you know they've told you what they need and you've presented it to them right so it becomes a lot more easier so number one get attention by building an audience number two find out what their problem is and number three create a product that solves it and this third phase is a phase that people get stuck in right because they're trying to create the perfect product you don't need the perfect product you just need a product that solves the problem you know there's some time there's sometimes i want to buy um I need something like, for example, I want to buy an earpiece. I don't need the earpiece to be fancy. I need, I just need the quality of the sound to be good. And I'm a, I'm a picky buyer. There are some people that don't even need the quality of the sound to be good. They just need to have an earpiece, you know, to be able to listen to audio podcasts or whatever to make calls. So, um, don't. While your product should be excellent in that it should deliver the the, the results that they want, right, and probably go overboard. But um, I wouldn't kill myself, you know, by trying to make it perfect. Okay, you can always iterate you can always refine it as you go ahead so create that product to that solves the problem and guess what as a smart business person if you have a place you can actually get that solution and just be the one directing it to them or provide or presenting it to them you don't even need to create it yourself okay so somebody else has created the perfect product for these guys you can either do that maybe by affiliate affiliate marketing or you can author your own products and solve that. But the bottom line is present that product to them and people will exchange that, um, exchange their money with that product. That, that's the simple way you know, to do business, right? Um, so when it gets to selling, which is the actual part where you exchange that value for their money, it becomes way easier. I mean, the stress is off you. There's no pressure. You're not trying to, to look the part that you are not, right? You're not trying to sell them on something. You're just presenting the solution to their problems, okay? If you go through this process, you will find that making sales is easier, right? Making sales is easier. Uh, but the issue is a lot of times, Selling is actually a skill on its own, right? And um, most people, you either think 
you know, you, there are people that think that selling is just is a natural gift, right? Um, selling is not a natural gift. You know, there are elements of selling that can come as a natural gift, but selling is a skill that you can learn. As a business person, it's a skill you have to learn. It's a component of your business that has to be there. So you have, I did a post um, recently about the way I said, stop being a technician. And a lot of people liked that post, right? You might have seen it, where I said, you know, you're focused too much on, 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 the, on creating the perfect product. You're romancing with the, with the art, with the craft. You know, you, you love, maybe you're, you're a fashion designer. And you can see uh, this bag here that my, this beautiful bag, by the way, that my wife uh, made some days ago. So you're fantasizing with you know, how you want the pleats to be, how the process of manufacturing or creating that product, and you neglect the part that actually makes your business survive, which is sales. So it's either you, know, you get somebody that can do that, either by um, outsourcing that person or hiring somebody or partnering with somebody who can sell your product, or you have to learn that skill yourself. But selling is a crucial part of your business that you cannot um, under or you cannot overemphasize. That's exactly the reason why I've created the sales bootcamp. Okay, I'm, I'm calling it the brand builder bootcamp. Brand builder bootcamp is going to be an extensive thing, but what I'm doing right now is just to uh, create an opportunity for you guys to come in, right? Uh, and I'll teach you everything I know about sales. You know, talking about prospecting, um, pitching, right? How you present the idea. Um, the subtle sort of things you need to know, how you speak, how you present yourself, you know, um, talking about closing, how you get the money, how you get people to say yes, how you get those yeses and get uh, people to drop their money or bring out their credit cards and, and pay, and then how you get repeat sales, right? So I'm going to be talking about a whole lot of things around selling, the psychology of selling, how do you posture yourself, right? There's something called posture where once, even before, without saying anything, the way you present yourself, your body language, right? Uh, how the customer perceives that product. So uh, I'm creating this sales bootcamp for you so that you can learn all the things, all the aspects of sales that you need to master in order to take your business to the next level, okay? And I'm giving you guys uh, a free access, basically a free access to the information. So the way I'm structuring it is, it's going to be a series of webinars that we are going to do. Um, if you are interested, just drop your name in the, in the comments. I'm going to put you on the waiting list, right? So just say, I am interested in the comments. I'll put you on the waiting list and then we'll be in my beta test group, okay? In that beta test group, I'm going to teach you everything I know. And the selfish reason I'm doing this is because I want to get feedback from you. I want to get feedback on the content. I want to get feedback on the on the delivery, right? So that um, I can know how to structure the product out of that. Okay, and you can see that I'm going through the same process. I got your attention first. I figured out the problem, right, from my audience, and I'm creating a solution. And even in that creation of the product, I'm still involving you as my audience, right? So if you're interested in, in learning how to sell more, how to sell more copies of your product, um, this beautiful bag here was made by my wife, by the way, Cynthia, CEO Designs. <laughs> uh, I think it goes for what, 12,000? 12,000, is it? 12,000. It's a leather, leather and Ankara. So this is this is Ankara. You can see how beautiful it is. And this is um, leather, original leather, by the way. We don't do we don't do synthetic, right? So um, it's it's 12,000. Anyway, if you want to pick it pick it up, just drop me a comment and say you want the bag. It's 12,000. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Drop me a comment in the comment box. Let me know if you are interest, interested and then I'll put you in the beta launch group for that product. Right. So thank you and I'll see you on another video.